Because, you know, the bigger we think the project is, no, yeah. the more likely we are to pro procrastinate, right? I have been waiting. I've written all of these over a year ago, but I, you know, and I have it all documented and they're all tracked and they're all saved and, and such. But I was wondering when this one was going to happen. And today is the day. You literally forgot until just before we rolled camera yes. a moment ago. You're like, oh yes, this it's this one. So fill us in. Okay. And how does this apply to the story about the putts? Mm. Welcome to Biz Glitch number 50. Whoa, 50 days into the wow. year, 50 mistakes. And as a reminder, if you're a glitch guru and you have a paid subscription, currently the cost is $29 through February 29th. It's going up on March 1st to $97. So FOMO, fear of missing out. <laughs> Get in there in the link in the description and become a glitch guru because also after March 1st, our glitch videos, the free ones that you see here on YouTube are gonna be short versions. The full versions plus mm. all the downloads that we include, all the materials that are available as part of the project are available for free to the Glitch Guru subscribers. They'll be private. The long vi long form videos will be private. Yes. As an introduction to today's glitch, mm. share a very short story because yesterday's glitch was about your story. Well, this is a story about us and about a prospective client who was in our database and a couple of weeks ago, we sent out a marketing email about a new consulting product that we created for the COVID-19 SBA loans that were the pandemic loans. And we we're providing consulting assistance for a certain aspect of that. And we created a reasonably priced flat fee consulting in response to customers asking us, hey, can you do that paperwork for me? I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. And that's why we created it. And so we had a little success in it and with, with marketing it. We had a couple of people sign up. So Linda sent out a mass marketing to our database. And this putz <laughs> wrote back, how dare you charge, take advantage of people in this yes. time of despair and need and charge them yeah. for this service. We obviously cut that guy off at the knees in mm -hmm. terms of our marketing. He's blocked it. And that's my segue into Linda Ray sharing with you glitch number 50, which is how you avoid dealing with people like that. When was the last time you fired a client? Boom, there it is right there. <laughs> this seems so counterintuitive on so many levels. This is such a liberating practice because there's so much risk of toxicity with the human condition when you're interacting in business because there's a lot of emotions. People buy on emotions and then they rationalize later. Sometimes people just never rationalize and they're just always emotional, which means you could get the brunt of their bad mood one day. And, or every day. Or every day, and it happens. And they take advantage, or they take advantage of your goodwill with some leniency that you give with your boundaries or your time that you spare for them because yeah. they have a, oh, what was me story. It is so important to have not only the confidence, but the gumption to let them go. <laughs> I'll take this one step further. I think it's a matter of self-respect. 100%. You're in business, forget about your personal self-respect. Just let's take that out for a minute, you know, because that's an important element and I think it should be a given. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're in business for yourself out of respect for yourself. I'm talking about respect for your own, your own respect for your time. Mm, yeah. The time that you're spending with a bad customer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. go above and beyond to try to quell their concerns, answer their questions, and enough is enough is enough, and you gotta draw a line, because all that time you're spending with them, you could be spending doing something else uh, yes. to generate more revenue than you're earning from this yutz that you're dealing with. And we're gonna to get to the goal and the actionable item, but this is totally off script. I didn't know we had a script today. We, 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 do, we just, we have the written glitches and we kind of go off that, but this, these are never really scripted. Stream of consciousness kind of thing. Once you, and I use this term a lot with the glitches, you've heard me say it before if you watch our videos, taking inventory isn't just what is in the warehouse. It is yeah. what is happening inside of you. What are your thoughts? What are What's the visceral experiences that are going on when you think about something or when you, you know, 
have to go through something with someone. Once you have that resolve that you are just not going to tolerate that anymore, then it leaves room for you to figure out a way to attract the better people that oh. understand you better, that you Truth. that will pay you to work less, to work smarter, work happier more and happier. To work happier. Exactly. This one just oh take deep breaths. Let's tell these folks okay. what the goal is. And don't forget, if you want just the free videos, we're happy to share the free videos with you. But to get them you should subscribe. Yeah. And while you're down there subscribing how about giving us a thumbs up and maybe even call to action, share our video or videos with another business owner you know who might find some benefit from them. Yes. The goal is to get that client list out and go one by one. Maybe you have thousands of clients, so you can categorize it any way you want. Maybe it's by ticket price. Maybe it's by when they bought from you. Whatever it is, if you have thousands and thousands and it seems so insurmountable to get through this but go through your client list and see what triggers you about that person and if there is a trigger of negative feelings you have to figure out how you're going to handle it and that's the actual item develop conditions of satisfaction, a checklist of onboarding, a questionnaire so that you better understand the client before you're even hired by them to know what what, what are the problems they're dealing with that do you want to be part of that world with them? Maybe not. I want to simplify it even further for you in terms of the actionable item. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a lot of work. And, and we believe that that is work. That is it's worth it. investing mm -hmm. in time. But in the event you're overwhelmed, don't have enough time, or you just want to get it started to avoid procrastinating, a good way to just dig into it is just grab the client list or grab your team and just start running down names of clients because the minute the horror stories come up, just go, eh, all right, we're firing that client. Yeah. And you can probably sift through a few dozen people and get rid of, listen, even if you only get rid of one bad client, yeah. that is just added profit to your bottom line. That is true. And and you don't even, who knows how much time you'll save by not having that client anymore. You may realize that the people, some of the people or all the people you want to fire as customers are people who have not engaged with you in quite a while. Yeah. So just cross them off, stop sending them marketing materials and just, and just move on. Or if they're not profitable, you can see how much time you've spent or energy, you know, horror stories aside. And I don't know, a simple way of letting them go is saying, we want to thank you for your business and we want to wish you very well in all your personal and professional endeavors. All the best to you. And that's it. And when they call again, don't answer the phone. They're not your customer anymore. Yeah, that's true. So it's, it sounds simple and sometimes it is and sometimes it's not. But it's easier than you think because I have done it successfully yeah. and quadrupled my income inside of six months as a result, by yeah, the way. True, true. We've told that story before. Once you're doing it, you go, holy cow, why didn't I do this sooner? This yeah. is so easy and move on with your life. And well, you'll with be that, happier. we're going to move on from this glitch and we will see you tomorrow and you have thousands, that's going to be is tough. Is it swipe left, swipe right? Oh. <laughs> that's a different app. That's a different app that you should not be on. <laughs> it's a different app? I thought that was a business app.